today in this video you're gonna see various cuisines from different parts of the world so hold up and watch it after the intro Just few minutes away from the main bus stop of Kuwait City, which is Malia, we are heading towards Kuwait City Church to attend the church fed. Where different backgrounds and cultures of the Roman Catholic community have various activities and food stalls to which we are gonna devour and have my taste buds tingling. There was cream, there was this normal stuff going on, now we, it's going to be with capers. So it's, I heard there is a special spice as they say. It's called what? Waska. Waska. It's a special spice that it only grows in the rainforest of Colombia. It gives a burst in your mouth. Like what kind of burst? Like it's going to be sour. Hi, do you sell water? And you know it's water? very salty. Yeah, it's not salty actually. It's like burst of salt, sourness, a hint of spice. The cream goes well with it. It's a good, uh, like it goes all around your palate and it's really good like, you know. So yeah, you have to try it out, okay. It's here in the stall is for two carry, but then I realized that there is even, uh, what do you say, tickets for every stall. So now I'm going to get tickets. But yeah, it's worth having. I'm going to have a Colombian coffee and uh, okay. it's, all the beans are from Colombia. So let's try it out. It's strong, which has I like it. Like I have always Americano. So this is a strong coffee and the more strong it is, the more I like it. There is even avocado here. There is even avocado with rice. Rice is different. It's not like the normal rice you get. Like it's normal, but it's, you know, uh, like they say in Egyptian rice, somewhat similar to the Egyptian rice. So the avocado is like a side dish and it's rice and the soup, everything is good, it's different. I liked it though. I liked it. I thought the sourness would not go. Let's go to another stall and see what else is there. This is one of the indoor hall where various exciting game stalls are being held. To see more yummy snacks, watch further down the video. Yeah guys, so now we are going to go another Espanol dish and it's going to be from Venezuela. Now it's been from like the previous one has been Colombia now it's going to be Venezuela like it's really beautiful to see the Catholic community literally shining with different kind of culture and cuisines being shown in the state of Kuwait so now we're going to go and try arroz con pollo quesado so let's see how it's going to go how it's going to taste so basically chicken with rice and different kind of flavors all right so come on 
Yeah, guys. So the taste is really good. They don't have um, spice, but it's very flavorful. Uh, like very flavorful uh, kind of uh, uh, rice and uh, this, the curry which they are going for. And there's no spice, like so strong spice on it. But there is some kind of um, uh, magic they have done to it. I do not know what it is, but it's really creamy. It's really good. It, it um, complements the rice. It goes really good. So you know, if you're coming here, just try next time. And the fest, this food fest, the Catholic fest which we have over here in different communities. All right. So yeah, stay tuned. Filipino lady, she created an amazing pudding, and I'm going to try it out now. They said it's amazing, so I do not know how it is actually. So let's go for it. Too sweet. There's a coconut flavor, is one of my favorites. The tapioca is not overpowering it. The coconut is not overdoing it. Not nothing is less. Everything is balanced. Really good for 750 and really good. So please, next time when you come to this, uh, what do you say, pet, check this stall and try it out. All right, cassava pudding. Yeah guys, so it's Ube Chumparado. It's one of the most traditional dishes of Philippines. So the Chumparado which is done in the Philippines, they have it with chocolate um, syrup and Chumparado. It's like a porridge with dried fish. But this is Ube, okay? It's a different kind of uh, dish they have. So let's try Ube Chumparado which is Ube porridge which they have in the morning basically. Like Chumparado, maybe plain Chumparado or chocolate Chumparado, okay? So let's taste it's warm i guess it look warm but you know it's like how do you say very bland it looks like a porridge sweet <laughs> the last stall it's a malayali malu stall they're going to have beef sausages it's only for 200 pills for 200 pills they're getting only two sausages okay it's like a traditional made kind of sausage not free packed from the industries and stuff so let's try and find it out i just had one piece okay otherwise it's like this it's hot and it has sauce in it so it's really hot and it's going to be tangy i suppose because most of the sauces are tangy all right The sausages are like how it is in India or some other parts of the world, not beef packed. It's very really flavorful, tangy, having good meat, it's not dry, it's good. Yeah guys, so we had this beef sausages and now I hope everyone liked the video. Please share, subscribe. I hope you see different cuisines in Kuwait as well. Today is Colombian, before it was Brazilian, Korean, there's more coming up, alright? So please stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. Take care and peace.